Hello there, this is Carla. Welcome to another exciting After Effects tutorial where we're into part two of the Rogue One tutorial and I'm going to try and show you guys how this was put together. We're going to start from scratch and see what we can come up with. So let's do this. So let's create a new project. I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to keep it about 10 seconds long. Do. just uh, test it out 10 seconds long that'd be lovely and I'm going to be using some assets uh, within this tutorial so I'm going to bring one of the main assets in which is my cloud uh, I should have that on my desktop here I will provide you with this cloud uh, you can get it within the link in the description below so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally drop it on like so as we've got our cloud here i'll make this a 3d layer and i'm simply going to get it on the blue which is a z axis and i'm just going to literally oh push it back uh, into uh, z space let's change our camera angle to top and that's our our cloud cover here let's just push it right back and just change it to active camera and let's just scale it up uh, just to give it a bit of dimension. Okay, so we've got our cloud. Now we're going to make a new uh, solid. Uh, we're going to call this Element 3D because we will be using the um, X-Wing Fighter from the Star Pack um, by Video Copilot. So I'm going to go and I'm going to select on Element, jump into my scene setup, and I'm going to jump into my Star Pack and I'm going to find. Uh, my X-Wing fighter, you can use any sort of ship you want for this or, or, or even a plane or whatever you want But I'll just use the X-Wing Because basically that is what the tutorial is about So I'm going to change that to cinema to make it a little bit brighter I'm going to click OK on that And I've got my X-Wing um, in the scene Now I'm going to come down um, to uh, Let's have a look uh, Utilities and I'm going to create a 3D group now, or I'm going to create, generate a 3D now. Um, so now when I open up that Element 3D layer, and I go to uh, Element 3D, um, let's have a look. Jump into the scene setup again. Make sure that's on the right group. Yep, so the X-Wing Fighter is on group one. So let's uh, select that, and let's open auxiliary channel. Let's go back to scene setup quickly and let's just have a look. Um, let's try and find it here. I always get confused about this. And let's try and find my auxiliary channels. Auxiliary. So we're going to change the auxiliary channel to number one here. Yeah. So when we come down to channel one, um, we can. Uh, Play around with the lighting, so on and so on. Now we're going to jump into the group one settings, uh, particle look. We've got our size, particle size. Uh, we've got our uh, rotation, which we're going to be using quite a bit of here. Uh, so we've got our rotation here, as you can see. Uh, we've got different sorts of rotation, so we can sort of tilt. Tilt down like that. And it's about open up all these rotations making sure we get the right one let's um, open this one up and just, just push it up all the way around right, so let's just push this all the way up until we've got it at a uh, so, so, suitable um, place where we want to start so let's create a new camera for now because uh, we're going to need a new camera. Um, let's jump it, jump back into our Element 3D layer. And let's just play around with um, our rotation of our craft. And let's just get it into uh, a decent position. Which is, it can be quite fiddly. Uh, let's just uh, scale the size down to about there. Maybe put it like that. Now, 
you can uh, animate this uh, any way you see fit. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to give you a rough idea of uh, how I put this scene together. Um, oh, let's put that back to normal. Uh, let's take our caps off. Um, it's entirely up to you guys how you uh, put this scene together, uh, how you want your ship to go. This is annoying. Right, so that's 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 cool. Okay, now let's go down to our um, our null and let's just um, we could place something here. Uh, we could place another null here, and sort of whatever we attach to these nulls uh, will be three uh, D. So let's uh, generate a null there. Um, let's get this little pointer maybe slip this generate another null there and as you can see all these nulls are appearing um, on our ship um, as we um, uh, attach them uh, so we can add whatever we want we can add smoke we can add lighting we can have whatever we want to uh, these uh, individual nulls so we've got our main null here uh, for our ship so we can sort of play around with our ship now so let's um, open up our first null and let's just um, play around with uh, what we want to play around with uh, to this so let's get this null and let's just, just whip it pair it to our element 3d um, and let's just place that right there okay okay so now let's um, get our camera Click on our camera tool. And now when we sort of move um, our background uh, image, we'll sort of move uh, with it as well. So let's just uh, push that back. Um, we'll have to scale the background up um, in a sec. Let's hit P on the keyboard. Let's get our position. And let's just bring it to about 10 seconds long. Uh, let's just zoom in. And maybe sort of turn around like so. Uh, to about there. Uh, let's scale our background up, or even move our background over. So now we've got a um, bit of animation there. Let's just fill in the gaps. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, we've got a bit of uh, gap there. Uh, this is just to give you an idea how the scene was done, so you're gonna uh, sort of know. Uh, where it's sort of coming from okay so it's a fairly simple scene to do we're going to create a new uh, light um, let's have this as a point light and let's change the color to like a, a, a orangey sort of cream uh, color and uh, let's just knock that in there now I do like these scenes to have some sort of um, nice effect uh, in it uh, but I don't want it sort of uh, to I just want it to look like the bottom of the clouds are. Oh, didn't want to do that. Just want it to look like the bottom of the clouds are sort of lit up uh, a bit. So it looks like it's gives it gives it a lovely um, cinematic sort of feel. And we can um, hit P on the cable for our position. Um, we can sort of move it to part of the scene here. And then we can uh, make sure our light's selected and then just move um, our light uh, wherever we want uh, to sort of add to the ambience of the uh, animation, give it that lovely sort of uh, cinematic look. And it looks like we've got some really nice uh, uh, lighting. Okay, so that bit's okay. Now you can duplicate the layers and add more ships uh, to it. So if you create them on a different um to go to uh, element 3d jump in the scene setup i can literally add more ships uh to the scene doing sort of different things so if i get uh another starfighter um and then just select that next one and put that on group two now let's go to the second one and put that on group two let's delete that for a second we don't want that one so let's make sure that's on group one. 
and then create a new group folder and then put that on group two so we've got another ship click ok and then we've got another ship there so let's go into our group two settings um, let's open up our particle look um, and let's look at our rotation and size um, and let's just try and sort that other ship out let's go back into so I forgot to do actually let's go back into our scene setup or our element 3d setup um, let's put that group two um, and let's go to so it was already there go to our zilli animation and let's put that on channel 2 uh, click OK with that um, and let's just play around with the uh, particle size oh, not that one we don't want to do that one we want to do the one that's on group 2 so Let's just fix it because it looks a bit um, <laughs> um, weird. That one. Uh, let's go to size. Let's just scale that down. Um, let's uh, go to our rotation. There. Let's go to particle rotate. that way and let's go back to where is it our position because these will stay together literally okay uh, but I'm only changing uh, the dimensions shall I say um, on uh, one ship so let's just make sure that goes up like that let's uh, put that say down there and then let's go size make it a bit bigger particle count I'm just making sure I've got everything uh, uh, right all right angles oh, let's put that back to naught because that didn't work Okay, so say you wanted that ship there. Now when you sort of move, that ship will sort of pan out. It, it, it's a really nice effect, you know what I mean? And what we want to do is we want to put some light in um, on this ship uh, as well. So you could literally have as many of these as you want. So uh, you could have another one, another one, another one. You could just literally keep adding uh, to the uh, scene, uh, which is pretty goddamn cool. So I'm going to get this light and then um, I'm going to control D and duplicate that light and I'm going to make sure light 2 is selected and I'm just going to make sure this light is somewhere else in the scene So that's a nice cinematic effect. Let's uh, bring this down here. And let's pay on the cable position for that. And let's just move that up. And let's just uh, bring that light like that. Maybe like that. Oh, wrong way. And like that. Okay, that don't look too bad. Okay, let's just uh, play this. Round preview, that says so you've got the ship gliding here, you've got the ship gliding here, it's just a really nice effect. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to add some um, smoke trails um, coming off the back of these, um, which should be pretty cool. Just give it a bit of finesse, shall I say. Okay, so let's um, get these null objects that we've got here. Let's go to, uh, uh, sorry, let's import our smoke. So I'm going to use um, some smoke 
uh, that I've got from Action Essentials 2. You can buy this uh, from Video Copilot. I'm using some 2K uh, smoke, so I'm just going to get uh, some smoke. I'm going to use uh, this one here. And I'm just going to drop that on top of my composition. Right, so um, I'm just going to bring it back to the first uh, key point. I want to make that a 3D layer. Um, and then I'm just going to, uh, oh, I didn't want to do that. Make sure my smoke layer is selected. Um, and then I'm just going to get my rotation tool. And try and rotate it into position without messing anything up. So, uh, that don't look too bad. Let's um, parent that to that now. Right. Let's make sure. We've just got to do some more rotation to that as well. Okay. So I'm going to um, unmake that 3D layer for now. Okay. So I've just got it sort of uh, flat, uh, sort of image. Um, it's, it's sort of easier to work with a flat image, um, and then make that 3D layer afterwards. I'm just going to spin it up to about there. I'm just going to bring that. Let's find the point where I want it. Let's make that smaller. Now you can use um, uh, particular if you want. But I think uh, particular, even though it looks really, really good, um, it just takes a bit of time, doesn't it? To it's uh, wrong way. Let's bring that to about there right. zoom in so we can see what we're doing sort of match the size this is going to give it the element of speed as well which is cool oh. okay oh. I hate it when that happens why don't it just down that bloody layer? Right, let's just make it a 3D layer now. And let's put it back. Sort of level it up. All to do with fiddling, guys. All to do with fiddling. They could use these as, um, like, like a speed stream, if that makes sense. You know, like when the things go like really, really fast. Um, I'm going to parent that to now two, and then I'm going to control D that, duplicate it, and then I'm just going to put it over to this one, like so, and maybe parent that with, oh, don't want to do that either, put that back over here, like so. Um, let's just change over. Let's parent uh, that smoke two trial with number three. Just see how we go. Maybe we're going to have to sort of play around with smoke one. Yeah. Put it over here. Let's parent that to smoke two. Just to see how we go with that. Right, let's just round preview that. Right, it's sticking. It is sticking with the um, with the null, which is great. So let's just use our three D axis. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Let's just bring that here to that one. So we've got one and two. Now let's just try it. Right, it's sticking. Right, now we need to zoom in, right, and just play it and make sure that it's sticking right. See this one here? Don't look right. Let's just bring that down, bring it to here. Alright, so let's get our position on that so we can keyframe that. 
to make that look um, a little bit better. So let's bring that right to the beginning. And let's create a position on that smoke one. Uh, let's just bring it forward. And then let's just mesh it up, match it up with our turbine. Because we are going to motion blow this out anyway, so um, it's still going to look pretty goddamn cool. No matter what we do. And you could do these. Uh, I mean, like I say, you can use particular or track co particular. But the thing is, I try and want to do it with as, as less sort of third party plugins um, as possible because. I mean, Element 3D on its own is, you know, money at the end of the day, isn't it? So this is about this keyframing it to the scene. Got to do this one in a sec. Just make sure it sticks uh, with the ship. Because all we want to do is get the impression that this ship is moving at a fast rate, okay? This is what we want to do. Now, you can motion blow the ship. I may motion blow this one uh, out, and I'll show you guys if you don't know how to do it, uh, how to do that. Uh, we're gonna go to the end here. And I'm just gonna uh, save all my rendering time. I'm just gonna trim this up, because this is how long, how, how long uh, I want the clip to be. So uh, let's go to our smoke two and let's work on making sure that our smoke two uh, sticks, should I say, where where we want it to stick. So let's click on smoke two. Now, when I've done it previously to this, um, I did title everything um, to sort of help. Um, but you know, this is tutorial, so it's down to you guys to make it neat and tidy. Um, keyframe this so it's uh, uh, moving around I like to do keyframing over tracking anyway um, I just prefer it because I can make sure that whatever I'm sort of creating um, I know it's literally going where I want it to go uh, which is cool now you can have these streams speed streams uh, underneath as well um, you can use them for this sort of technique, sorry, for um, sort of gliding uh, along water. But, you know, the idea of this is to, uh, like I've just said, g give the impression that ship is, is moving at some sort of a speed and it's not going slow. Um, and it does that to it. We've got to fix this light in here, so uh, don't worry about that, guys. We're going to fix that uh, in, a, in a second. And we're going to motion blur all this out as well, so it's going to look pretty sweet. I'll show you guys how to uh, add a really nice uh, backdrop, if you want to add a backdrop to your scene as well. Um, but we did most of that in the part one um, of this tutorial anyway, so um, you may not need it. So. Okay. Okay, so let's um, close our smoke for now and let's make sure we've got both the motion blur on and then switch motion blur there. Um, let's just run preview that now. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, stop that. And what I want to do, guys, is I want to scale that right up and then just push it back. Yeah, I want these smoke trails to be super long. So let's bring this. Doesn't matter if it's sort of, you know, coming off the screen. Doesn't matter. Um, the point is, <coughs> I want this to look um, pretty, pretty cool. Now I'm going to get first smoke. Um, I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to bring the opacity down to about 80 and I'm going to do the same uh, to the other smoke trail uh, bring that down to about 80 because I want it to be subtle 
Um, and if we click out of there, we've got nice sort of subtle smoke trails uh, coming off our ship, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this one, I may have to um, uh, mask that out in a, in a second. But it's all to do with just uh, keyframing and uh, general um, sort of uh, animation uh, as well. So um, you can sort of play around with that and you sort of get the impression where I'm coming from uh, with that. Um, you can use this for um, planes, whatever you want uh, to use it for. So let's just bring that right out. And because we keyframed it, whatever we do, we'll, we'll add a keyframe to it anyway. So uh, we can get this one and just bring it back and just follow the ship um, until um, it completes its uh, cycle. Just want it out of the back of the ship. That's exactly where we want it. Um, and just just keep going, going, and going until you've literally completed the cycle. Now, when we go to the end here, as you can see, the lighting uh, gets blown out. Um, so let's um, uh, find the light that is making it get blown out um, because we've we've keyframed this anyway. So um, let's just bring this right in maybe here. Uh, that's quite nice because we've got a nice sunset there. So. So hopefully that will help give it the nice um, Star Wars uh, look uh, that we actually want. 